Good morning. Welcome to day four in our 40 days of prayers. I'm Elder Keeble Dawkins. And uh, with me to pray this morning is Sister McLaren. But just before we go into prayer, I want to draw your attention to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. And um, that's the mighty God we serve. God is able to do more than we can ever ask or think. So it's our opportunity to come to him and to have him deal with our problems. Let's have our heart challenge. It says, is there someone in your life who is stuck in deep darkness? Or maybe someone who knows, or someone you know who walked away from God or who never seems to be able to stick with Jesus. There is hope for that person, even if all seems hopeless. And we should never give up praying, interceding, and laboring for the salvation of those precious individuals. So I want you to get out your prayer list. You have, as I challenge you, um, to have your seven persons that you are praying for. And um, we are going to pray for victory. We are praying for change. We are going to stand in the gap for somebody this morning, as we said that may be struck in darkness or may be um, have walked away from, from God. And we are going to claim them back into the fold this morning. So join me now in prayer as Sister McLaren will lead us to the throne of grace. Baptize me today with power from on high. With love, O oh, refresh me, their Savior, draw nigh. With love and the Spirit, baptize me today. Heavenly Father, as I come before your presence, I ask you that you remove from me the things that is unlike you, so that my prayer will come up to you. Father, I thank you for this direct line to your throne room. I ask you that you will teach me, Lord, how to stand in the gap for your people who are in need. Father, whether it be financial, physical, or spiritual, God, I ask that you help me to be a tower of strength to them. I know you have no hands, O oh God, but our hands, no feet, but our feet, O oh God, and no mouth, but our mouth. And so, Heavenly Father, I ask you that you will help me, O oh God, to make myself available to do the work which you have commanded me to do. Lord, I present to you my seventh person I am praying for. Alice Morehouse, Akeem Finletta, Akeem Finletta, Mark Finnegan, Delton Finletta, Taisha Finletta, and Lori McLaren. Lord, there are seven different faces, so they have different needs. I pray, Heavenly Father, most of all, that you will meet their needs accordingly. But Father, there is one thing that each of them, O oh God, need, and that's a spiritual awakening from you. Father, help them to surrender their lives into your hands, and help me, O oh God, to live a life that will reflect you, Jesus, and so, God, they may come to worship and to adore you as their Father and their Creator. Father, you are the creator of this universe and lord nothing is hidden from your eyes you hear the cry oh god of your people and planet hurt father there are some that are homeless i pray for the father that they may understand oh god that you have gone to prepare mansions for them and oh lord if they just keep by your keep your words and obey your commandments oh lord that they will have mansions in heaven that you have gone to prepare father remember those that are sick oh god father sometimes the sickness oh lord burden them oh god and it's so heavy for them to carry so lord i pray right now that you will surround them oh god with your 
peace calm their fear O oh god let them know that you are still able and available to reach down to them father touch their sick bodies and i pray lord that you may bring healing to their bodies bring healing to their soul father let them know that you are still available and powerful to take care of them lord you made them you create those bodies and lord you know every diseases that inflict them so lord bring healing and restore them to their normal health father remember those that are in the missionary field at this time oh god i ask that you may send your holy spirit to lead and to direct them and lord as they open their mouth to witness for you it may not be their voice heard oh god but your voice father may your holy spirit lead them in the path which they should go we know lord that we are living in the last days of hurt history and we know that the devil is working over time to deceive your people and so father i ask that you may give them the peace that pass it all understanding as they go out witnessing for you and help us oh lord as your people not to sit down complacent because you have given us a command to go heed their for and to bring souls into your harvest father i pray lord as we see these signs of this time approaching that we may look forward to your coming we may cling to you i pray lord that your holy spirit may wash us thoroughly and cleanse us oh god and help us oh lord that we may experience the latter rain and so that experience the latter rain and so that when Christ should have get up from around the mercy seat. We will be sealed from their hand until eternity. Father, help us to understand that just over the mountain is a promised land. So help us to look forward for that day when you should have come and take us home to be with you. In Jesus' precious name I pray.